five examples of perimeter fencing have been independently installed. The objective is to break through these installations using the tools that would typically be used in such an attack. A crack team from the South African Police Service, men who know all about security, will undertake this task. They cannot be individually identified, but as you can see from their uniforms, they are indeed members of the SAPS. The experiment is audited, and the actual times taken for each assault will be recorded. The concrete palisade, a popular and commonly used perimeter fencing solution. Will it keep the intruders out? The timekeeper gives the signal. The attack begins. A mere 13 seconds later, and it's been breached makes you think, doesn't it? The steel palisade. This is another South African favorite, made from three millimeter steel. Let's see how effective it is. And they're off. Well, well, well. Our boys have penetrated this baby in only 12 seconds. Beta 358 single skin welded mesh. Inspired by their previous two successes, the assault team attacks with vigor. This mesh is proving more difficult. However, they are through in 4 minutes 11 seconds. Beta 358 double line wire welded mesh. Can this fence keep them out? The team is very determined. They've worked out a strategy, and it does look like it's going to be successful. The fence is penetrated in 6 minutes 7 seconds. Beta 358 double skin welded mesh. This fence looks like a tough customer. Let's see what happens. Our assault team are determined that no fence will beat them. This is certainly no pushover, and the boys are getting frustrated, but on they go. Come on, chaps, the clock is running. Okay, it looks like they're going to win, but then of course, they are a crack task team. Well, the fence certainly stood up to the SAPS. It took them 12 minutes and 30 seconds to get a man through.